Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Sunday, June 2nd. Athletes from all over the state gathered to compete at Simplot Stadium in Caldwell this weekend. The Special Olympics Idaho Summer Games wrapped up on Saturday night with a closing ceremony and then a drawing for the grand prize of a new car. Special Olympics Idaho provides year round training and competitions to children and adults free of charge in the summer, fall and winter. It allows athletes to develop physical fitness, demonstrate courage and learn new skills along with friends and family. Events include track and field, cycling, basketball, aquatics, flag football and powerlifting. Everybody has a champion within. They've just been given the opportunity. And through that, we are creating communities of inclusion acceptance all over our state because we're dispelling negative stereotypes. Special Olympics teams have been selling tickets for the raffle since February and it is their largest fundraiser of the year. A Caldwell company is now on display in Washington, D.C. Indiedwell builds steel frame modular housing, which reduces construction time, cost and waste. They were chosen by Housing and Urban Development in Washington to be one of 19 companies from around the country to showcase their products at the first annual Innovative Housing Showcase on the Washington Mall this week. Our Don Nelson spoke with HUD Secretary Ben Carson about the event. Well, you know, this is the first time anything like this has ever been done before. And uh, we're having a, a tremendous affordable housing crisis in our country right now. And we said, what a great way to expose some of the potential solutions, not only to the populace, but to the legislators, too. All this week on Six on Your Side, our Don Nelson will have much more from Secretary Carson and more from the housing showcase featuring Indeed Well from Caldwell. Well, a whole lot of people stopped to smell the roses today at Julia Davis Park. The annual Art and Roses Festival has been going strong for almost 30 years now. The event benefits the Memorial Rose Garden at the park, while also allowing people to check out creations from some of the best artists in the Treasure Valley. More than 60 vendors showcased their original artwork throughout the park, and today's weather worked out perfectly. Well, this is our first show of the year and it gives us the ability to kind of get out here. The weather's absolutely amazing and we really love to interact with people. Um, we like to visit with people and share our artwork and the people of Idaho are amazing. Art and Roses also gives the Idaho Rose Society a chance to interact with the community and teach people about these beautiful blooms. Now, Steve Liebenthal with the On Your Side forecast. And it was a great Sunday to get out and smell the roses or do just about anything outside here in the valley. Still some thunderstorms in mountain locations, but that unstable air mass, that area of low pressure that has been pumping that moisture in our direction is continuing to slowly shift to the east. And we expect that to continue early and toward the middle part of the week. Nice zonal flow coming in, meaning there are no highs or lows in the jet stream. It's just kind of coming at us from the west, and that will allow our temperatures to stay in the 80s for afternoon highs. But then big change coming our way. Big trough of low pressure will move in. And that will drop our temperatures. We expect that front that you see right there to move through on Thursday, and that will increase clouds on that day, bringing a chance of showers and really drop temperatures behind that front. Here's that extended forecast. It shows a high of 85 on Monday, same high on Tuesday. 88 is our new forecast high for Wednesday, and then that front comes through on Thursday, really changing things with showers, some thunderstorms possible. Thursday's high 72 degrees. On Friday, we're expecting an afternoon high of only 64 degrees in Boise. Saturday, another cool day, and then temperatures start to warm again on Sunday. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.